Hello, hope that this video finds you at home, like we should be, um, and calm. Uh, I'm making this video to tell you how Musical Living Academy is moving forward in light of the news that we are to spend most of our time at home. Uh, I think that there isn't a single person being impacted by this situation. And the more we communicate, the more we can work together, we will get through this and we will resume life um, as we knew it, maybe even better, I think, and I hope that even better. But moving forward, starting Monday, March 23rd, all private lessons will be held online. Now, this is going to be uh, true as long as public schools are closed, as long as we're being um, asked to stay at home. You will be able to connect uh, online and have your private teacher teach you a completely online lesson. I personally have had a student online for the past semester. Angel has had another student. Uh, but now since we're all at home, we're having to transition all of us to online lessons. There's actually just three simple steps for you to be able to be ready to have your online lesson at home. Um, it will be a different experience. So there, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, you might adjust a thing here or there. But you might even want to continue using online lessons after we go back to our lives uh, as we knew it. Um, so let me walk you through the simple steps that you're going to take to be able to have your online lesson started on Monday. So like I've mentioned already, music teachers and music academies nationwide are doing this. And most of them are using what is called the Zoom conferencing app. Very, very simple. So let me go ahead and, and, and transition you into that screen. This is the, um, the website for the Zoom app is that once you get the Zoom app on your device or on your computer, uh, you do not need to create a profile. You don't need, you don't need to create an account. You simply um, download the app and then you're going to be ready to go. Um, so the first step, because I said it was three easy steps. The first step will be to choose a device. Choose the device that you want to use for the lessons. Now, um, my recommendation is that you use a device with a big screen, an iPad or a tablet, a laptop. And the reason for this is because, yes, this device will be the one that us teachers will see the students through. However, it's also going to be the device that the students are going to be seeing us demonstrate, model, and teach through. And so it's important that we use a big screen if it's possible. So that's step number one. Choose your device. Uh, number two, already start planning to have a good angle where it mimics the in-person lesson. So for me, that my students are able to give me an angle that I can see them from the side as I would hear in the in-person lesson. Now, there is... Um, a stand that I purchased for our teachers to use here in class and you're welcome to look look at it you can search floor stand uh, CTA digital height adjustable gooseneck anyways this long um, this long uh, title here and but what it is is that it's this very sturdy stand and uh, you do have the option of having some uh, some that roll around uh, not necessary you can um, you know, you can just do it, your, do it yourself at home somehow to where you're giving us a good angle. But that would be step number two. You know, find a good position to mimic the in-person laptop. Uh, sorry, the in-person angle. And then the final step and the easiest step is going to be to download the Zoom conferencing app to the same device that you're going to be using. Um, Again, let me reiterate, you do not need to create a profile or an account. Once you have the app, you just wait for your regular appointment time for your regular lesson. Uh, once your, 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 your lesson is ready to go, you open the app. So let me go back to the computer um, app here. You can go to, um, well, if you're using the web the web one, it's right here, join a meeting. If you are using the mobile one, it'll look something like this. 
And so again, when your lesson time comes around, you open the app, you do nothing except click on join. Now by Monday, you should have your teacher's personal meeting ID. And all you do here is you enter your the ID number. I think it's a 10 digit or nine digit phone. It's like a phone number. And that number is gonna be used every single week. You type in your name and you leave these unselected because we do need your audio and we do need your video and then you click join. Now, if your teacher is still finishing up a previous lesson, you will be um, added to a waiting room. And if your teacher is ready to go with you, then you will simply be at, uh, have this connection right here. Again, um, I think this is very doable. You know, one last thing that I wanna uh, communicate with you is that kids are gonna be needing activities. I mean, we, we spent one week now, this is uh, spring break. Everybody needed the break. Once we go two weeks, three weeks, and the kids are at home uh, all day, then you might need activities. I'm sure that you're gonna be very proactive as, as uh, my wife is and myself to find activities for the kids. But what I wanted to say is that we're gonna be opening up extra online slots. So whether you wanna maybe book two lessons a week, um, but more importantly, maybe a friend or family member had been considering uh, signing up their, their, student, their kids for lessons, uh, maybe some adults, and uh, they were maybe waiting for the summer to have more time. I think we have more time now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna waive the $35 registration fee for any new family that wants to try lessons out. Remember, we're offering piano, voice, violin, guitar, ukulele. Um, pretty much you can teach anything online. And so uh, if you know anybody, spread the word. Tell them, hey, Musical Living Academy is fully online and they're waiving the $35 registration fee. They have, um, like all of us, they have more time on their hands. Why not take advantage of it? Uh, we do not do contracts. It's just month to month. Um, so anyways, uh, let's practice as much, um, as much uh, caution as possible. Stay home. Um, let's pray for each other. We will get through this, and um, I, I think that it's going to be something that will be for the better. So God bless you guys, and we'll see you next week on the screen.